And what I found interesting about that, for example, in that question you had about your uh, measurement that um, uh, there was a decline in uh, civil liberties in, in the United States. Uh, we actually did a, have done a public opinion poll about that outside the United States, asking people whether they believe that uh, the U.S. protects the civil liberties of its own people. And we found actually something that parallels the findings of IDEA, which was that beginning in 2013, people in Europe began to think less well of the ability of the U.S. or the track record of the U.S. to protect the civil liberties of its own people. In other words, before 2013, depending on the country, somewhere between two-thirds and three-quarters of the public said, oh yes, America preserves the civil liberties of its own people. Beginning in 2013, that began to go down, which was the NSA scandal, remember. Then there was Ferguson and Black Lives Matter, so it went down further. Then there was the election of Trump, and it went down further. And now, only 30 to 40 percent of people, depending on the country in Europe, believe that the U.S. protects the civil liberties of its own people. So your perception, based on non-public opinion data, that, that protection has gone down, and the public's perception in Europe that the U.S. doesn't, or has, is less likely to pers uh, protect the civil liberties of its own people, are, are they complement each other, I think, uh, very nicely. Uh, 